Hi, I'm Ben, and I am going to show you how to embed a Google Calendar in another website. So first things first, uh, here is my Google Calendar. So uh, I've got a lot of different calendars running across the, uh, the left-hand sidebar here. You can see a lot of mobile carts for uh, the school district I work in. And I'm going to use this one as an example, this digital storytelling calendar. So when I hover over the calendar, I'm going to click on this little arrow to bring down this menu. Okay, And I'm just going to start with calendar settings. And when I go to the calendar settings, I'm going to find right down here, I've got in a way to embed this calendar. Uh, but before I do, I want to make sure that I go up to share this calendar, and I want to make sure that this calendar has been shared publicly. Because I can embed this calendar in other places, but if I haven't shared it publicly, people won't be able to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and make this calendar public, and then I'm going to come over here and change this to see all event details. That will let people see uh, the events, what's happening, notes, things of that nature. Now I can go ahead and uh, save this, yes. Okay, and once I've done that, I can go back to my digital storytelling calendar, and I can go to the calendar settings, and I can go down here to embed this calendar, and here is the code. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of this. I can do that a number of different ways. Once I've selected it all, I'm going to copy it. Now that I've copied it, I can go ahead and I can paste it into the website where I want my calendar embedded. In this case, I'm going to be using just an example page on our school's website. So this is our uh, information technology page on our school website, but it would work on just about any uh, uh, major content management system that you're using, like Weebly or WordPress, things like that. So right here, I'm going to go into uh, the calendar page and then this Flex Editor app. And once I get in here, I'm going to be really tempted to paste it in here, but I don't want to do that yet. That's a no-no. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on right down here where it says HTML, okay? because it was HTML code that I copied. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to paste, and now you can see here's my code. And before I go ahead and I save this, I can alter the width and the height. Now for my school district, 675 seems to be a really good width, keeps it right within the uh, the framework of the page, uh, and you're not going to get anything extending over the edge, and more importantly, you're not going to get any calendar dates that get cut off. Uh, height is fine, I'm good with that. And then right down here, since I'm using school wires, I need to make sure I click activate my page. Okay. Uh, once I'm done, I'll go ahead and click save, and once I'm saved, Ta-da! There is my calendar. You can see it's on my page. I can even double check that, at least on this platform. I can click the View Website button, and I can see what it's going to look like when I click on Calendar. There it is. Okay, so that's it. Uh, the steps are pretty simple. One, you're going to make sure that your calendar is shared publicly. Two, you're going to make sure that you copy that embed code. And then three, whatever website uh, builder you happen to be using, you're going to find that little spot uh, to insert HTML and paste your code there. I hope that helps.